Now I know this sneaker has dad shoe inspiration. I know that. But is it too much dad shoe inspiration? Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Dream Crew episode one. Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's just get straight on with the unboxing of the Dream Crew episode one, which is right here. Now this sneaker is in collaboration with the brand We Are Underdogs. The brand We Are Underdogs is actually a Portuguese brand and they do a lot of collaborations with content creators and YouTubers. So let's get this one out and start talking about the shoe. Okay, this is the We Are Underdogs Dream Crew episode one right here. So a bit of background about the sneaker then. So this is actually being produced by YouTuber and content creator Kai Soma, which I think is absolutely amazing because I absolutely love the fact that people in this day and age can now create their own shoes. Kind of think back five or 10 years ago, people that were kind of content creators or influencers creating their own shoes, it's just mad. It would never have happened. But now we're in a position where brands like We Are Underdogs are taking a chance with content creators uh, and they're doing collaborations. And I absolutely love that. So you can tell straight away there is definitely dad vibes going on with this sneaker. It's chunky, it's big, it's definitely got that feel to it that it should belong on a dad. Yeah, there's definitely inspiration from Yeezy and Puma in this design. You can tell that straight away. Now, when I looked at the video first time around of him talking about his design, how he went through the process, there were a lot of people giving him quite mixed reactions to this design. I think a lot of people thought that maybe it was like something from Walmart or Marks and Spencers here in the UK which I kind of understand where they're coming from, but I think that there's more to it than that. I think in reality, if you look at most high-end luxury designer sneakers like Prada, Givenchy, Saint Laurent, like these kinds of dad shoes from those brands look very, very similar to this, minus the branding, obviously. But if you look at the design, the aesthetics, the materials that have been used, straight off the bat, this is kind of in that category, in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying this is a Givenchy or a Gucci or a Prada or whatever, but in terms of the aesthetics, and the kind of feel from it that I'm getting, there are definitely similarities between some of those designers. You can purchase this sneaker on the We Are Underdogs website. It costs £179. I think it's about $300 in the US. Now I know that price point has caused a lot of discussion, especially amongst the followers of Kais. And I think the reason for that is because a lot of people are saying that you can purchase a Yeezy 700, Yeezy 350, something like that at roughly the same price point. So it's quite a lot of money for a sneaker that kind of looks like a dad shoe, like, but a real dad shoe. So my first impressions of this sneaker then, I'm gonna say I do like it. The reason I like it is that I like the materials that they've used. I like the silhouette. I like the shape of the shoe. It's quite recognizable in a certain way. It does look a little bit cheap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure everyone else is thinking it. I'm sorry. I know I probably shouldn't say that, but it does. It doesn't look like it's a 180 pound shoe at a distance, but you know what up close? It kind of does because you can see the material, you can see what's gone into the shoe. And I really like that. Okay, let's start talking about the sneaker in the detail, starting with the outer sole, which you can see here is just black. It has a very basic grip on the bottom. Um, really not much else to it besides that. Moving to the midsole, it's all in white. There is a little bit of black towards the detail on the heel. It actually has the stamp extra light written on the midsole. So I guess that's the name of the mold that they've used to create that. Moving to the upper, you have a lot of detail going on. You have a couple of different types of leather. You have the suede in two different colors. You've got a light green and a tan color. You've got a little strip of normal leather towards the top of the heel, which is quite a nice piece of detail. You've got this kind of like mesh on the toe box, which is very similar to a Yeezy 700 in terms of style and color. There's also a few pops of 3M going on around the side and around the laces too, which I really like. That's a nice piece of detail. Perhaps my favorite part of the sneaker is actually the tongue, which is a really strange thing to say, but it's actually really soft and foamy. Feels really nice. You've also got this kind of light leather on the front and the Dream Crew logo at the top. A really nice piece of hidden detail on this sneaker is that it actually says the word crew in it with a Q R E W. Now I just have to kind of remember where it is. I think that the Q is on the outside, the R is on the back, 
the E is on the back too, and then the W is along the side on the inside of the shoe. So it spells crew with a Q. In terms of weight, it's probably a little bit heavier than the Yeezy 700 to give you some kind of comparison. Uh, yeah, but besides that, that's kind of it for the shoe. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about this sneaker and I'm gonna start putting it on my feet and giving you guys a couple of different looks and styles. I would love to hear what you think, so please drop me a comment down below. Okay then, having just put these on my feet, I am massively impressed with this shoe. I actually really like the way it looks and styles as well. I think that it looks really, really nice. It's very, very comfortable. It's probably more comfortable, I would say personally, than the Yeezy 700. There's a lot more padding inside. It's more comfortable. I love the tongue in this as well. It's really, really nice to feel. And uh, yeah, overall very impressed. In terms of sizing, I went for a UK 9. It was a bit of a gamble because I wasn't sure how this was gonna fit, but actually it fitted just perfectly. So just go for your normal Nike or Jordan sizing and you'll be just fine. So overall then, you know what? I'm really impressed with this sneaker. I know a lot of people will hate on it. They won't like the colors, etc. It's not a Yeezy it's not a Nike, it's not a Jordan, I know that. But you know what, it's a new brand and I like what they've done. They've taken a bit of a risk, a gamble, and I'm really excited to see what they come back with next time. What is gonna be episode two? What's gonna be episode three? I can't wait to find out. And on that note, that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout, this has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It does mean the absolute world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post lots of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching, take care, bye-bye. <laughs>